uterine artery embolization and when is it needed it is needed when a woman has uterine fibroids mostly this is the most common indication of uterine artery embolization so what we do is we cut off the blood supply of fibroids through a very small lick in your leg why is uterine artery embolization better than the conventional modality of management conventional modalities they include hysterectomy that means removing the entire uterus so the uterus is gone fibroids are also gone but that is not the solution you know hysterectomy carries its own risk it causes a lot of pelvic floor weakness you get bladder collapse the rectal collapse so uh, it is not always the choice and uh, uterus is sacrificed in the process whereas uterine embolization it is non surgical it is very minimally invasive it can be done as a day care procedure you get admitted in the morning and you get discharged in the night uh, patient will be awake during the procedure it is just done under local anesthesia there is literally zero blood loss and the most important thing all of the fibroids can be handled in a single sitting what is your clinical experience on the patients that you have managed with this procedure 9 out of 10 patients who have undergone uterine artery embolization i would say in the past 6 months 9 out of 10 uh, have given very good feedback all of their symptoms gradually went away in 2 to 3 months their periods normalized and the pain went off within a week only what does the current literature evidence for this procedure suggest there is literally no difference in the ovarian reserve between the uh, uterine artery embolization and the other conventional methods so your there's a myth that your ovary function will reduce after uterine artery embolization but there is nothing like that it was concluded that there is no difference in the ovarian function there is no difference in the complication rate like uh, it was previously believed that uae have got a lot of complication but it was proven there is no difference in the complications you can get pregnant as in uterine art after uterine artery embolization uh, with equal uh, like percentage as in uh, the conventional method what is the cost impact analysis of this procedure with respect to the conventional management approach the initial cost of the surgery may seem uh, a bit higher than the myomectomy or hysterectomy but what we have to see here is in uterine artery embolization you are getting admitted for a single day in fact not even for an entire day for just few hours 5 6 hours so the cost of admission the cost of all the iv fluids medication the consultations everything is like uh, all very minimal what is the message you would want to give to the clinicians in terms of managing their patient after the procedure has been done by an interventional radiologist then the patient is discharged from our side in the next 4 hours then the clinician has to take care usually nothing more is required than a simple anti spasmodic like mefral spas is required for 3 to 5 days which the physician can take care of sometimes there is post embolization syndrome the females get can get can get fever for 3 days so simple anti inflammatories by the physicians and they can take care that fever is managed well and uh, they have to like educate fem- people uh, the ladies that uh, the periods they get normalized in 2 to 3 cycles 